Hello everybody, I'm going to have to make this quick because I don't have much memory on the camera phone here. So yeah, beautiful backdrop there of oak trees going into dormancy and somebody asked me about the benefits of a polytunnel in a greenhouse etc. So I thought I would show you this. Now this will show you some real benefits of one and you can see just how beautiful this looks. Just from an ornamental point of view really. So as I stated there, look, look at the beauty there, look, and you can see just how lovely this particular greenhouse looks. And it's a very nice one, and you can see here, look, you've got in there, you've got like your potting shed and a little bit of storage if you wish. And of course in here is the main greenhouse bit. So let's open up and see just what we have got. So look in here now, and we're well into November, we've been getting frosts, and uh, you can see just how many beautiful tomatoes there are. So these ones down here, look, you can see are well and truly ripe, ready for picking, and they'll be very tasty indeed. And you can see these are ripening off right now. So they're going to be ripening a little bit later. And you can see by looking, if I take the old picture down here, look, you can probably see, if I zoom in, there you go, you can still see some tomatoes there all ripening off. So Oh, of course, we've got the flowers still as well. So, if I show you there, look, you can see, so what you've got, you've got your window there, so you can, of course, you don't want to be working in the dark when you're in there. So you can be doing your potting in there, and in here, you can be, you know, have your plants growing. Of course, it's a little bit rustic in here, a little bit wild, but, um, you know, everyone is different. But uh, you can just see different varieties of tomatoes, some dwarf not dwarf, sorry, you've got some gardener's delight, some small ones there, and these ones here are moneymaker. And of course, you know, these won't go on forever, they'll naturally, you know, go away. And of course, you know, if we, if we get a really hard frost, the chances are very likely we'll get in here and penetrate. But this is one way that you can extend your season. And this was also used to good effect. You can see some cucumbers have been grown in here as well. So yeah, certainly a very much worthwhile tool. And you can see we've got, a, in this particular model, there is a vent, well say a vent, a window on a catch. And you know, that allows that very important ventilation, particularly in the summer, because in the summer, man, core does it get hot in here, seriously, seriously it does. Probably, I would imagine, in excess of 40 degrees C, so that is rather warm indeed. So, good bit of space there. You can grow in something like this what you want. Now, in general, in fact, I'll just show you down here. <laughs> it's a great, somewhere around here, there's a, there you go, there's a grapevine that I grew from a, a cutting there. Look, that's, that's going into dormancy, but of course, this will, um, you know, this will, thrive more when all of these bits and bobs are not here. But look at that beautiful bunch of tomatoes. Look how red they are. Now, of course, you've got different options with regards to, you know, polytunnels or greenhouses. In general, unless, of course, you can get a second-hand one or whatever, generally, polytunnels for the si same size are cheaper than greenhouses or wooden sheds with greenhouse windows, bits, glass, perspex. I think perspex is good, particularly if children are around, because, uh, you know, the idea of cutting oneself on glass, of course, is not necessarily a good idea. So, yeah, perspex is a good thing. And, um, you know, you can have one like this with regards to some space here for growing and, as I showed you, like an attached potting shed. Of course, other options are to have a, a polytunnel and a separate potting shed. Do your potting outside. Another thing that's good about um, polytunnel or greenhouses, it gives you an early start in the season. So, of course, you can, um, you can get your stuff started much earlier, get it in early, and then potentially get earlier crops earlier and later to extend the season either side. So, very good plan if one wants to experiment with. There's all different costs. Quite often you can get greenhouses or polytunnels for free if you're prepared to take them down for the person that wants rid of them. So there's generally one for all different budgets. And this is painted with barn paint, which I recommend if you've got something, a wooden structure in the garden or even a, a door, because it helps preserve it for much, much longer. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Gotta go. Timing out. Take care and speak soon.